Eric Burgess here, and we've been given the following equation. This time we've got a fraction in there, and so it looks a little scarier than maybe it should. So we need to make this absolute value equal to four. So there are two cases in which the value in here will equal four. There's the case where we have positive four, and that will make this equal to four. And there's the case where we have negative four, and when we take the absolute value of negative four, we'll get positive four. So that means that we need to take this inside bit and set it equal to positive or negative four. So we're going to have three over two X minus one. And there's gonna be the case where it's equal to positive four. And there's also gonna be the case where we take this and two X minus one and it's equal to negative four. So these are our two cases. Let me go ahead and move this calculator out of the way. So let's go ahead, let's solve the positive case first. So to do that, we're gonna multiply both sides by two X minus one. So when we do that, the two X minus one will simplify on one side and we're gonna be left with three. And on the other side, we're gonna be left with two X minus one. So from here we can distribute and we're doing exactly what we did in earlier sections. So this is gonna be eight X minus four add four to both sides and we're going to get seven equals eight x and divide by eight and we're going to get seven over eight. So that's gonna be our first x value. The next uh, one we do, we simply solve. So we're gonna do a similar thing. We're going to multiply by two x minus one uh, to both sides and on one side we're gonna be left with three and on the other side we're gonna be left with two x minus one times negative four. We're going to distribute we're going to get negative x plus four. Then we're going to subtract four to both sides. So in this case, we're gonna get negative one is equal to negative eight x. And then we're going to divide by eight. And we're going to get x is equal to positive one eighth. So these are our two answers and we can go ahead and check these. So to do that, let me make this calculator bigger. All we're gonna do is we're simply going to take our fraction and we're gonna verify that we get plus or minus four when we use these two values. So I'm going to use the fraction key, green key F1, put in a fraction here. I'm gonna get three over two times and it's another fraction. And this one is seven over eight for our first one. And we're gonna close parentheses and then we're going to do minus one. If we did this right, we would expect to get positive four out. And we do, and we know that four is equal to four, so this one checks. And the next one, we just simply change out that seven eighths for one eighths. So we just put a one there. And we expect to get negative four in this case. And we do. So we see that both of these check out, and so we can write our solution set. We can say that x is an element of the set, one eighth, and seven eighths. And then you would box this and this would be your answer. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe for more videos. If you're a Citrus College student, definitely feel free to swing by online tutoring. We're there to help you out and we'll catch you in the next problem.